All right, so who can forget that adorable redhead in the funky dress dancing down the street in that famous video of the 1980s? I grew up on that. Well, the iconic dress could be yours. Today it went on display at Julian's Auction House, where it's going to go on sale December the 1st. And we are curious to see how much it's going to fetch. Fetch, that is. That's because uh, this is a fitting segue. The woman who wore that dress is here with me now, and she's here to talk about a very special cause that's close to her heart. Uh, live in the studio, the iconic, incomparable, incredibly talented, insanely funny, Cindy Lauper. Cindy, it's great to have you here. As we look oh back God, at that. Oh, my God, that's that's hard to. You live up to all of those things. But as we look at that, what do you think about when you see the video and that dress knowing that it's being auctioned off? I'm thinking, where are the shoes that went with it and the hat? Where's the hat? Right? And the gloves. It was, uh, it was all the accoutrements. The whole styling bit. Now, we're, we have you here because you've been involved with uh, LGBT issues for pretty much your whole career. But explain what you're doing now, especially with LGBT homeless youth and the shelter that you've opened up in Harlem. Well, that was spearheaded by Colleen Jackson. I had um, gone to, uh, when I was first doing the True Colors tour, I had gone down to the pier because I wanted to do a photograph which had the faces of the community in it um, that I was trying to benefit. And the True Colors Fund was working with the HRC and with PFLAG and with um, Judy Shepard at the time. And um, I went down and I noticed that there were a lot of homeless kids. And um, this woman, Colleen Jackson, runs a multi-generational home, and I went up there, and she was um, doing a benefit, and I got up and sang, and we were talking, and I said, listen, I wish you could do something for these kids, right. these LGBT kids that are on the street, because, you know, they're at great risk, and they're kids. And, um, and she came to see the tour, and she got excited about it, and... She asked if she could call it the True Colors House and use my name, and I said absolutely. And then we started working together and helping, you know, with whatever we could. And um, and it was opened, and it, it was uh, it's it was very moving. But it's you know it's thirty beds, and That's there's amazing. a big, you know, this big need. Well, when, we, when we talk about the need, though, one thing that you're doing coming up is the holiday concert at the Beacon Theater on December the 4th. What inspired you to, to, to pull, call together all of this musical talent with the money going to help LGBT homeless youth? Well, um, you know, with the True Colors Fund, we've been doing a lot of research, and we realized that um, what isn't out there and what they need, you know, trying to find out to help them, um, and one of them is to maybe someday have this network that you can con you, you can connect all these wonderful people doing all this work with these kids right. and come up with a program that could really help them. And you know, that's uh, that's what I've been that's what the True Colors Fund has been working on. And we decided to do this um, this concert. I had done this song with Nora Jones, Home for the Holidays. And then we thought, wow, wouldn't it be good to do a... Because I love Christmas. Who doesn't? Well, I love Christmas. I, I even <laughs> did I even did um, Blue Christmas because Elvis was from Memphis, and I have this CD, the To Memphis With Love, that um, that is out. And that's okay, why I did it. Let's hold up properly so we can oh, give the proper okay. plug for this. I also want to okay. give a plug uh, to the online website you have for the Give a Damn campaign. People can find out more. Which you were part I of. I was a part of, yes. So people can find out about that. They can also find out about the Beacon Theater. They can find information on this. But This is separate. This is just, I, I did the live DVD to connect the end of the this whole process. I did the Memphis Blues right. thing. and It's not really the end, though. It It's actually now the beginning, but... I did the Christmas music with these guys from Memphis. Well, we highly recommend everybody going to get a ticket for this. The Beacon Theater well, coming up everybody. on December the 4th. Wanda is coming. Wanda Sykes, Rosie O'Donnell. I'm going. Uh, Carson, you're going. Um, Cassandra Wilson, Nora Jones, um, Cheryl Wright, DeLuca, Skylar Gray. Um, and there's so many. There's like 20 people. A lot of people. All right, I hate to cut you off. we got to run. Because go. now with Alex Wagner, is going to be coming up in a moment. But Cindy Lauper, thanks so much. We love Thank you around you. here. Thank Back you Back after so this. Much. Okay.